Bang! Neve Knives, I'm Jared. In today's video, we're just talking about more knives that I should be featuring more on the channel. And starting it off, we have the Mini Archbishop, the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop. Now, I used to feature this one a lot on the channel, you know, and just a lot of new knives have come out, but that doesn't stop this thing from still being an awesome little compact knife. Nitro V Steel. I'm not sure if you can get the carbon fiber still, but you could definitely get it in G10. Um, I do like the cross-cut carbon fiber backspacer, but the deep carry clip works really, really well. Um, the action is super good. You can hear the detent. Listen to this. The detent is so crisp on it. It is small and compact, so you got to know that. You know, it's only a three-finger knife, um, unless if you choke up. But all in all, super good knife. Now, I will say I always talk about the big Archbishop, or the Archbishop 3.0, I should say. That's one of my favorite Ferrum Forge knives, that and the Allurus. I absolutely love those knives, and I rave about those quite often. Next is a knife I forgot I even had. So this is the the, the Fox Knives Chillin' in M398 steel. Now, because it's made in Italy, I'm sure the M398 is ran soft. In fact, I know it is, uh, but, also, that doesn't stop this from still being an awesome knife. The steel's still going to hold an edge. It's still going to take a good sharp edge, you know, and all that stuff. It's just not going to be as optimal as it could be. Um, but this also, really quick, before we get into details about this, if you like the nightshade, then you'll probably love this. If you notice, they have the... Because this is, is a shillin' cutter. That's what this is after. And I'm not sure if that's why they call this the chillin' because of shillin, I'm not positive. But if you look at it, you can see, this is very similar to a shillin cutter. A same blade shape, um, titanium scales with the micro milling that's nice and deep, beautiful pivot collar, deep carry clip that is reversible, titanium back spacer, and then a steel liner lock. You can see it has a white detent ball in there, so it is a ceramic detent ball. Some of the ceramic ones are gray or, or blackish. Um, this one happens to be white, though, and I, I'm pretty sure that those are supposed to be a little smoother. Um, but anyways, the reverse flick is really, really good on this. The thumb flick is really good. The blade stock is pretty robust. The whole grind is somewhat robust, but it still cuts really good, and the ergonomics are amazing. And the reason why shilling cutters work so good for EDC is because of this blade shape. Well, blade shape and handle, the way it complements each other. The blade is aiming at everything, like whether you want to poke, whether you want to do a utility cut, if you want to slice, it's going to trap materials, kind of like a recurve. If you turn around and cut straps, it's going to trap the strap, so it's not going to slip up and out off of the edge. So just a phenomenal working tool. And I just, I, I had it in a box in, you know, inside this thing, and I just, I kind of forgot about it and uh, pulled it out and was like, what knife is this? And yep, there she is. Next, the Artisan Arion. Now, the Artisan Arion is one I uh, has been featured on many people's channels, including my own, many times over. I have a mini version of this. This is the big one. There's all different kinds, all different sizes, all different blade materials and handle materials. So there is a lot of flavors with this one. And, you know, it, it's still so awesome. The, um, I mean, it's, it's a super slim lightweight EDC that's still a full-size knife that's very ergonomic. The blade shape is somewhat of a leaf-shaped blade shape, so it's going to be super useful for just about everything you throw at it. Um, as far as the size goes, like I said, there's different sizes, so whatever preference you have, you can get. The action is insane. This one's an S35VM. There is micro milling on there, but it's so fine you can't see it. So yeah, it's a blasted micro milled titanium frame lock. Very subtle micro milling. Hidden lanyard pin back there. The clip works great in and out of the pocket. And yeah, the action is just ridiculous, but where this thing shines is in use. It's very, very useful. It's a fantastic tool, but it's also, like I said, so many different options. You got affordable options, all the way up to premium options, all different sizes. Definitely check out the Artisan Arion. That's a, that's a great one. Um, next, the CMB Dharma. 
Now, this one I haven't been showing, just be, listen to the sound of it. This thing has such a cool sound. Ah, uh, now it's not gonna do it. There it goes. Very cool sound. The Dharma was at Mike Emler's house. That's why I haven't featured it. And I gotta say, one of my favorite CMB knives. This is, especially for the premium knives, this thing is freaking amazing. Beautiful drop point blade, perfect sharp control and plunge grind, beautiful set and finish. I know it's fingerprinty, but it's really nice. Steel liner lock with titanium bolsters, and then they have different kinds of carbon fiber um, scales you can get. Titanium backspacer and clip. Um, flipping action is so good. They did such a great job with this flipping action. Not only the sound, but also just the, the detent, the, the shape of the flipper tab, the leverage point. It is so good. Then you have this reverse flick that's equally as good. Awesome reverse flicking knife. Whether you're right or left-handed, this is gonna be really good. So lefties, here you go. Now the clip is not reversible, so you know, note that, uh, but the clip does work well. Now, the problem is this front flipper. The front flipper sucks. They, I don't even know why they put it on here, but to me, I just don't even look at it. If anything, it's just a glass brick for me. Uh, I don't use it, I don't care about it. It doesn't even matter. It's just, it's a feature that I don't use because the reverse, th the reverse flick and uh, flipper tab work so good. I don't need this junk front flipper that doesn't work good. Can it work? Yeah, but it's just not very good. But the Dharma is freaking amazing. I believe it's M390 steel. Yeah, M390 steel. Um, and like I said, that beautiful set and finish, it has a good look to it too. So a nice aggressive look to it. So yeah, this is a good one. Uh, next, the We Evoke. Another one that Mike Emler had. This is a beautiful knife, very simple, front flipping action that works great. You can use it in any way, shape or form. It works phenomenally well. Um, then the, the, the thumb studs are also very, very good, equally as good. So if you don't like front flippers, it doesn't matter. You got the thumb studs and vice versa. Um, the clip works great. Titanium mill pocket clip, titanium frame lock. And then it has a 20 CV blade steel with this beautiful clip point blade that is super useful. Very versatile, nice and slicey and extremely, extremely ergonomic. This is simplicity at its best. It, it's a, a, a straightforward clip point blade, very neutral ergos, doesn't matter if you're gonna cut backwards, forwards, utility cuts, reverse gas station, knife fighting grip, doesn't matter. The balance is really good. Um, no milling on the inside, so the weight, you know, they didn't put rate, weight reduction, but it doesn't really matter because it's not that heavy. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. Um, it does have a hidden lanyard pin back here uh, by the titanium milled backspacer. And then it has T8 hardware all the way around. Um, so very, very well done. And Ray Laconico is known for doing and making useful designs. I don't know of a Ray Laconico design that isn't just absolutely banger. Like as far as use goes and it being an EDC knife. So this is no exception either. The We Evoke. Next is the cachette, cache, something like that. This is the Vivi cache. Now it does come in different handle materials, just like most of the knives, you know, I've featured on here. Um, this one is the white, I think it's called um, Ivory G10, uh, but then it has this 14C 28M blade steel with a cl straight clip point blade that's extremely functional. Very similar to the Evoke, actually. Let me say this. If you like the thought of this one, but just not the price tag, check this one out. You have a reverse flicking fuller and a regular flipper tab. So the action is completely different, but as far as opening it up, the ergonomics are gonna be very similar as far as use goes. Um, it, it's a super duper useful design. So it is a steel frame lock with these overlays, deep carry clip that is reversible, T8 hardware all the way around, good access to the lock bar, very smooth action. 
fantastic flipping action. And yeah, <clears throat> the 14C28M, great blade steel. Uh, and Civivi does a really good job with it. So this is, yeah, this one's a gem for sure. Next, the Protec PT. Now I have featured this um, a bit on the channel, but probably not as much as I should. These are available. I will have them linked down in the description. I remember when this was impossible to get impossible and now they're even better than ever why because they're using magna cut steel between 63 and 64 hrc i bought this from the owner of protec from the man himself and asked him what hrc is on these pts and he said 63 to 64. now i know when they first started using magna cut they were running it a little bit softer so if you look at their range it might be a little different but to my knowledge all their knives now are being ran at 63 to 64 but like i said if it's an older model um that was being you know with magna cut that was done before it could be lower um the button lock action is exactly what you expect from protect it's a smacker this thing this thing smacks and it smacks hard yeah love it um and then it's got nice solid super tight lock up um you do have a nice strong spring on the close and you can feel it lock back in. The aluminum handle is nice and comfortable, but it will get scratched. So it is somewhat of a four finger knife, but it's more of a choke up four finger knife because it is compact, but you can absolutely get a full four finger grip back here. It's just very compact. Now, like I said, this is aluminum scales, so it will scratch up. But I love how they use big hardware um, almost all the way around except for the clip. But the clip is very nicely done in set with flat screws, and it is a fantastic clip. This is a good one, guys. This one's a gem, too. Um, next, the Kun Wu Zen. Now, I have featured this on the channel a little bit. But maybe not as much as I should. I believe there's two different sizes of this one, if I'm correct. Um, this one's in LMAX steel. It has the Timascus pivot collar, three forms of deployment. You have the reverse flick, the regular flipper, and then you have this front flipper that works really good. You can basically use it any direction. Um, I like how the jimping is done on this front flipper. Then it has titanium orange peeled finish on the titanium frame lock, but then it has these chamfers on the edges that are not orange peeled. It has a really cool look and effect to it. And if you don't know, orange peeled texture is very hard to scratch. Um, I have a few knives in orange peeled. I've, I've done it before where I've shown trying to scratch the surface. Now I'm not saying this won't scratch, but there are some cases where some orange peel, it's nearly like, it's very difficult to scratch. But Really good ergonomics, phenomenal action. It, it's obviously got the fidget factor. Um, and then the useful blade shape definitely has that. And they also do a good job with their steels. Um, pretty much a crown spine. But yeah, Kun Wu seems to be doing a pretty damn good job with their steels. So I do congratulate them for that, for actually caring and paying attention to that and making that a big deal. Now, I know some of you guys are like, why haven't you featured their new knives, their Pulsar, and then the other new knife design? I'm trying to, guys. I'm trying to get it on the channel. Hopefully, I will have them soon. To close it off, the American Blade Works Model 1. Now, I recently got this one back, so I do have excuses why it hasn't been featured a lot on the channel. <sighs> Listen to the sound of this thing. This thing sounds amazing. Anyways, it has a magnet cut blade between, I think it's 63 to 64, it might be 64, 65 HRC. Um, titanium milled scales with a titanium backspacer and clip. And then it has a stainless steel liner that's nice and robust, nice and thick, and super strong lockup. So very, very solid. And I like that I can reverse flick off, well, normally. <laughs> I can reverse flick off of the blade and it's pretty easy, very ergonomic. 
I'm very happy with this knife. Um, USA made, 100% USA made, hence American Blade Works, and he does a really, really good job. So this is definitely one I, I'd love to scream about from the rooftops. The only problem is, is they're not like, like super readily available. Now you can get them, they are obtainable. You just have to catch them when he drops them on his site, which he does do, I think once a week, once a week or once every two weeks. Somebody leave it down in the comments exactly when um, American Blade Works drops his knives. Uh, but uh, I, I forget. But regardless, you can get them. That's the point. You can easily get one. You know, you just might have to, well, maybe not easily. You can obtain it though, pretty fairly easy. Um, I would love to be able to link it, but I do not have any links for them. They're not on any of my affiliate sites. So I will be, I will, it will be, I can't do that. So I can't link it. So you're going to have to go to American Blade Works website and check them out and see when they are available. Check the comments to see if anybody wrote down exactly when they do drop. Work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.